holidays are certainly taking a different tone this year. The menorah is now lit on this first night of Hanukkah, right next to it, a Christmas tree sparkling. But with the war between Israel and Hamas intensifying, some Jews and Christians are observing with very heavy hearts. Among them, Yasmin Rafidi. She's a Palestinian Christian who lives in Burlingame. As she told our Kenny Choi, with so much pain and suffering, celebrating just doesn't feel right. Yasmin Rafidi, her husband and children were visiting her parents in the West Bank on October 7th and realized they had to leave quickly. Yeah. At that point, they told them they're not letting them through. They drove east to the Jordan border, knowing it would be safer, but knew her parents without U.S. passports would face a different situation. I just wanted my kids' safety. So I take them, of course, without thinking twice. I'll cross. But then also that meant to say goodbye to my parents. The Burlingame resident feared her parents would be returning to a Palestinian city that could become a war zone overnight, like Gaza. And he said goodbye to me and hugged all of us. And they turned back and went back to Ramallah. <laughs> With Israeli airstrikes escalating after a brief ceasefire, Yasmin, like so many others, tries to get updates on loved ones. She's Christian, but isn't decorating the trees in her courtyard this year. A cousin leaves a message sharing how Palestinians in Bethlehem aren't celebrating Christmas in the same way. The lights and decorations are noticeably absent. A baby Jesus lies in rubble at a church in Bethlehem. With occupation, with destruction, with the bombardment of children, uh, while the world is celebrating, our children are under the world rubble. Uh, while the world is celebrating, our families are displaced and their homes are destroyed. A lot of kids, women or men, are just being massacred and then we're celebrating. You know, it's not, it's not right. It's not right. Her family has already lost friends and loved ones. And the idea that they were hiding in the church, thinking it's safe, then they all, they're all gone. It's a dad and a few of his kids and then a sister and a brother. It's just, it's, it's sad. At a time of celebration around the world, Yasmin is desperately trying to cling to hope. Where do, where do they go? Where do they go? Even when so many of her people are facing death and utter darkness. Rafidi eventually reunited with her parents who remain in Jordan today.